ready for the pain and feel completely dirty when you're done. Arvin, are you ready for Blast Off? <laughs> I told you not to eat Indian food, man. How are you blasted off? <laughs> Prematurely. We are the Three Guys Ranch. Arvin, Mike, and Phil. I already feel good. Call us at 855-69-3-GUYS. And if you didn't understand that, let me turn it to you in English, because that was Puerto Rican. You are listening to the Three Guys Rant, 855-69-3-GUYS. That's 693-4896. 693? I love me some Three Guys. And they let us back on the air. We don't know why, but they do. For those of you driving home on your Thursday evening, if you're stuck on the 57, 55, the 91, don't tune us out. Arvin's to my right, ignoring us as usual. Mike's to my left. And I did want to clarify one thing. Mike I was tweeting. I was tweeting. Yeah, I like that, playing with my tweeter. Well, yeah, you like playing with your tweeter, all right. You know, the other day you were chastising me when the show started that we never announced ourselves and never said who we were. I finally sat through our entire intro. Oh, chast. Oh, I, never mind. Then you went Not a chastity else. belt. That's, That's what, what I thought you you date wears, but no. <laughs> it said 14 different times in our intro that we are the three guys rant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, I went to school over the last week, and the first thing they said... You went to school? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I went to radio school. Yeah, we'll go with that. I, I only heard about 15 minutes, but the first the thing... The first thing they said was, it's a good thing you're on radio because you're butt ugly. <laughs> that was actually the second thing you oh, okay. said. But the first thing you said is that most shows, whether it's a live show or a podcast, will go a whole show... And never announce who they are or where they can be heard or where they're currently at. So yeah, well, we don't, though. We start out with an entire intro that Octa Allen created. It says we are the three guys rant. Right. We talk about where we can be heard. Says, I love me some three we gave guys. Out, yeah. Mm-hmm. We gave out an 800 number. Everything. Right. So you know what I deem? You're a moron. Because you See, yelled that, at me that, for that's, only, that's only the first segment. What about the other three? Hey, bro, if they're tuned in from the beginning, right now, dude, they're captivated. They're stuck to their dial. So let me get this straight. Not want to let us off let the me air. get this straight. The 57 freeway right now is bumper to bumper. Not because there's traffic, but because everybody stops dead in their tracks to hear the show. Only to try to make sense of whatever it is you're saying. Because when they listen to the rest of us, <laughs> it's free flowing. All of us that speak oh, the English. My, Mike is, <laughs> Mike they, is they, they understand. Mike is free flowing, but for a completely different reason. All right. So we weren't on the air last week because it was our nation's birthday. And it was my birthday. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Who cares and, uh, about that part? So, uh, so all you people out there that were blowing crap up, thank you. <laughs> you do realize though, that you're not a real American. <laughs> so, sir, born okay. and raised. First of all, again, we're, we're going to cover this on a news station. Born you, and raised. Okay, you are a Puerto Rican. That's right. Born on a third world country. So you better, look, uh, you better read up on some of your uh, history. Which makes you an immigrant. You're not illegal. Oh, I'm sorry, because this country is uh, whoa, it's whoa, not whoa, made whoa, of immigrants, whoa, right? Whoa, whoa. So you're white with blue eyes, right? Whoa, whoa, and even whoa. if you were, it's not your country. So whoa. what the hell are you going with this? Hold on now. I, I, I'm 118th uh, Indian. I'm yeah, we know what the 18th is. That your welfare state, be that it is, is, is not America. You were not born in my 50s. Okay, when you states. say that my welfare state, I am not from West Virginia. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No, you are from Puerto Rico. <laughs> okay. So that, you're not an American. You're a Puerto Rican. When you look Rican. at welfare states, Puerto Rico is way above West Virginia. Okay. That's just because they don't know how to read English <laughs> and fill out the form. That's <laughs> why. You know? Okay. You are not an American, sir. I just, you know, so I don't know why. By you birth. Do. By okay. birth. No, sir. You are a Puerto Rican. Okay. You know what? Let's just if you don't it. have an airport, you're not, your vote doesn't count. <laughs> Okay. Right. So, the little boat doesn't count, man. So, let's get into it. Um, Snowden. What is it with these dirtbag countries that wanted to take this idiot in, and then Germany this morning saying, how long have we been spying on them? What the hell is that about? Well, it's these bur- dirtbag countries are countries that are not very fond of us, and they just want to stick their finger in our eyes, man. That's it. They just want to say, you know, wow. USA, here you go. Here's our middle finger. We want that. I thought, you going, here. I thought you were going somewhere completely different with that finger. No, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, you're you too would. far from me, man. Only you. <laughs> well, you know, I was telling Mike, because we, we, we were carrying over a conversation from this morning. I sent him an article how the military, uh, yeah, again, we won't even use the term military intelligence, but, the, you know, the that's military. That's an oxymoron. Yeah, that is an oxymoron. The military uh, infrastructure, I guess, uses seven different computer systems to try to make payments to some of our GIs. They're so honked up that they have no true accountability or accounting system in place to be able to audit themselves. We're talking about this country. 
Well, yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. So, you know, everybody everybody assumes that because, you know, we have Facebook and we have Google and we have that doorknob snowed so in over there lying are about Are you actually we're saying doing. Zuckerberg is smarter than the people running this country? No, no, Zuckerberg is an idiot. But I'm saying the people that he has working for him are geniuses. So you know, doesn't that make him a genius for hiring the right people? Sure, we'll go with that. Okay, we'll give him that credit. But what I'm saying is we've got all these companies who, you know, why uh, we outsource everything else in the world. Why we don't outsource something along those lines here to one of our own high tech companies? Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that why we got in trouble in the first place with this guy? Because that was outsourced and he got a- access to information that he probably shouldn't have? Yes, it is. Uh, Arvin, so for once, you, you have a valid get point. Backhanded for that no, comment. No, 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 no. Because again, they here, here, no, 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 people, he, people, he, mark he, this date in your calendar. They didn't take he, my advice. Is, he is about to pull it's a Michael July Jackson. July 11th. No, 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 no. 2013. No. And if Arvin he, had a valid. Thought. If oh, by the way, you can get free slurpees today. If they <laughs> Go ahead, had put an implantable device behind his ear, oh, uh, what they a, could a twenty-two? Oh, I said an implantable device, so that they could have killed him instantly. We wouldn't have this problem. I, I'm sorry. Do you want me to go get your chimp now, Michael Jackson? What are you talking Cause, about? Because that, that sounded like a complete backpedal. It's not a backpedal at all. I'm just saying that's what got us in trouble in the first place. You for understand outsourcing. Though, that national secrets and somebody getting paid a check are two different things. Yep. Uh, not really, because when that check's not big enough to cover your gambling problems, then you got to find a way to get creative to make more money. And I guarantee you understand, that's what though, that it doesn't did. require the government for that. They just arrested some doorknob in the IE over there who was stealing from Bandcamp. Literally, Bandcamp. Did you hear about the nun that got caught for the same thing? It was like a hundred and... Bandcamp? No, no, no. She was a nun. So how's that, okay. how's, how's that the same thing? I, know. I talked <laughs> about a guy who stole from a booster club from <laughs> right. Bandcamp. Because he's still stealing from the children. So stealing nuns, from the children. Stealing from the children. So she, she got... It was like a hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars. A nun? Year. Yes, an actual nun that was taken out of the what collection. What she do with plate. the money? Oh, an actual nun. An actual nun. Not, not, not one that plays a nun on TV. Not, not the kind that I take home from the bar. Not <laughs> okay. those kind of nuns. What was she doing with the money? Stealing. She it. was. Was she using it on? on who why, was in, why was she? Oh, oh, oh! I just remembered. Who was in coke? Who was in coke? No, no, no! Not, not, not. Whores and coke? What yeah. are you freaking Irish? Yes. Whores and coke? That's right. No. She was using I'm it. I'm Puerto Rican Irish. She had a gambling problem. That's what she was stealing the money for. What, bingo? Maybe she had a bingo bracket. I don't know. Wow. All they said was gambling. Okay. Okay, fair enough. So uh, all I'm saying is, t- to your point, it doesn't take somebody working for the government to steal. How much can you steal from a band camp? Going back to your statement. It was about, a, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was about $200,000. Holy crap. Because there's 300 members, and it's a booster club that raises money year-round. And this guy had been stealing for about five years. Wow. Yeah. So, that yeah, that's why I'm saying. It doesn't take, you know, an, an NSA operator. That's, that's nothing, man. That's only 40000 a year. 40000 I don't have now. Well, that's because. I'm sorry. He, he must be on welfare because he's from be- Puerto Rico. Because you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> but. All right. I guess we have Arthur Lee on line one. Arthur Lee Lynn. I'm sure he wants to jump right into this. Oh. He hung up. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm still waiting for my royalties from Bandcamp. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, how you doing? It's good to have you uh, back on air with us. This is Arvin from the Three Guys Rant. How you doing today? I'm good, Arvin. How are you, bro? Not too bad. I know the last time we talked. Now, was it Canada where you were at last time? Uh, no, I was in Lyons, Colorado. But hey, close oh, that's enough. that's close <laughs> enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that sounds like that sounds like Canada, Lions, Colorado, Canada. Yeah, it's all there, Arvin. They both start you with know. a C. I was going to say they both start with the C. Okay, we'll go with that. But uh, well, I'm, in an, I'm in an RV outside Genghis Cohen's with Iowa plates, so you know Iowa, Idaho, uh, uh, Ohio. You <laughs> you're, you're the well, what? <laughs> I was, was going to say that last time somebody told me that I said I the pimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. I'd be pro for it. <laughs> <laughs> so this time, uh, I was actually talking to, uh, now, I'm not sure if she's your manager, your, your person who represents you, but you're, you're in town this time. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we just didn't have, uh, it was just cranked. I didn't have time to come by the studio because uh, I'm playing uh, a show at 7.30 night at Genghis Cohen's and we need to set up at 6 and uh, it just wasn't working uh, schedule-wise. So that's why we're talking on the phone. Otherwise, I'd be in there rocking. That would have been awesome to see. So Arvin wanted you in there rocking. <laughs> <laughs> he was so the operative board is, is there, which is where. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Man. <laughs> He's been so excited all week because you were going to come in. He sent at least 20 emails. 
<laughs> Who exactly did I send these emails to? To myself? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> That's why they've been bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you've seen a picture of Arvin. Wow. I, I'm get, I'm, <laughs> anything that goes his way bounces. I was going to say, I'm getting it from all three directions right now. So, like Arvin, you you so you're doing an event. Is it tonight? You said at 730, right? Yeah, 730 at Genghis Cohen's. Also tomorrow night at, at Genghis Cohen's. I'm doing two 730 shows tonight and tomorrow. And then Sunday I'm at a place called the Cap Coffee Gallery in Altadena. For another 7.30 show. All three, 7.30. Now, Arthur, what city is that in for, for people that have never heard of that place? Uh, Genghis Cohen's is on Fairfax in Los Angeles. So It is I, 7.40 North Fairfax Avenue. For those of you that are not culturally diverse, you can find him on the <laughs> west side. Why are you looking at hey, Mike when you say that? You, can I Fairfax you a question? <laughs> <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Oop, is bounced. Sorry. <laughs> now, uh, Arthur, for for what 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 exactly is the best way to describe what you do? Are you a, a loop artist? Well, I'm you know I'm primarily a a singer songwriter and I play multiple instruments, but I happen to use live looping as a as a uh, uh, a way to deliver my song on stage. That is a rather interesting uh, method of doing it and doing it like. I'm do I'm looping probably six or seven stringed instruments, six stringed instruments, and then so that's that's like electric guitar, acoustic guitar, two acoustic guitars, ban banjo, mandolin, bass, and then percussion and some samples and some kind of sound effects and stuff and and guitar synth. So there's a lot that's going on, but it's all happening live, uh, and I'm building whole songs out of you know thin air. So are you literally the one-man uh, band? I'm literally the one-man band who does not do it simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So you're not like that guy that walks around in Venice Beach with 20 <laughs> instruments strapped to his back. Exactly. And okay. the bass drum on his back and the monkey, uh, you know, cast <laughs> Now that's a show. That's always a show. <laughs> that's, a, that's a show. And plus, when you need the cymbal crash, the monkey will do it for you. You know what I found out? He doesn't like when you throw the coins at him. He wants you to just <laughs> hand it to him. Are we talking about the anyway. performer or the monkey? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> now, Arthur, how, how can people get a hold of you? Uh, ArthurLeland.com, A-R-T-H-E-R-L-E-E-L-A-N-D.com, and everything is there, my Facebook and my YouTube, and, uh, and uh, there's a free download of the title track, Cracked Open, which you guys played last time. And, uh, yeah, that's probably the best way. So, again, you have a show today at uh, Genghis Cohen at 7.30 here on Fairfax in L.A. And tomorrow. Yeah, Genghis, Genghis Cohen, like, uh, like Genghis Khan. Okay. Except it's Genghis Cohen. Perfect. Will do. Well, again, I know we're getting ready to go on break here. Uh, we'll make sure to get the, uh, the uh, information out there. We'll p uh, pump it out through our social media. And uh, next time you're in L.A., we definitely have to get you here in studio. That'd be awesome. I think I'll be back in October, so I'll keep you guys posted. And I appreciate you guys getting a chance to get me on. It's always fun to uh, rant with you guys. And, uh, you know, especially after a little coffee, I could go for a while. <laughs> All, All right. right. We'll do appreciate it. Thank you, Arthur. See you guys. Take care. So, again, this is the Three Guys Rant uh, here on NBC News Radio, KCAA, 1050 AM in Los Angeles. Would you like to comment? Get on the radio. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant. 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 We are the Three Guys Rant, coming to you live every Thursday from 5 to 6. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in, because one has Tourette's, the you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen, and you never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS, G-U-Y-S, and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Hey, bro, this is a good game. You know what would make it better? What, bro? 
A michelada. A michelada? What's a michelada? A michelada is somewhere in the middle of a Mexican Bloody Mary and a Mexican margarita. Oh, I got you covered, bro. You got a cup in your pocket? No, sir. I got my pocket-sized michelada. Mucho macho michelada. pocket size? pocket size. So you can take it with you anywhere you go. Where'd you get that at? At the nearest convenience store, and you can also buy it at muchomachomichelada.com. You know what will make it better? After we get drunk, if they had a line, we can call. We can call their drunk line. You can leave a message and then log on to the site and listen to your stupidity afterwards. What's that number? It's 855-MICHE69. What's that number again? 855-MICHE69. Awesome. Mucho Macho Michelada. Hi, I'm Paul Lane, host of the KCAA Morning Show, and I'd like to take a few seconds to tell you about Pollen Burst. You may not know, but I've been confined to a wheelchair for over 20 years, and I've always looked for ways to increase my energy, mental clarity, and just feel good. Well, I found it in Pollen Burst. It's natural, delicious, and easy to take, and I think you should try some too. To find out more, email me at paul at kcaaradio.com. That's paul at kcaaradio.com. Hey, join me so we can burst together. TicketSurgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The TicketSurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m., right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronandKellyLive.com. That's AaronandKellyLive.com. Check it out. Stream live from Los Angeles, the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Check out our website at www.thetheeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant starts now. All right, we're back from the break, and Arvin is over there tweeting and twatting and doing what he does to get you the information for our last guest and let you know where he's going to be. And uh, we'll continue on. I know this is going to be over Arvin's head because he's too young, but Mikey, do you remember that doorknob mayor, uh, Marion Barry? Of D.C.? Of D.C.? Yep. Marion, is that his real name, Marion Barry? Marion Barry, yeah. He, he, and he's as ugly as his name, by the way. Um, he, he was a crack-smoking uh, mayor. And got reelected after. Well, that's in what city? D.C. Washington, oh, D.C. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it makes sense. Right, of course, because right. that's how all the lunatics go. But what was so funny is the, the, the dumbass went to jail for six months, got out, and then got reelected to the point where he's still considered a um, popular le- uh, historical figure. And he's been nicknamed the mayor for life. So, you know, I, I, and I remember growing up, you know, that this moron did what he did mm-hmm. over there. But and he was caught on tape. Yeah. Smoking yeah. crack. And, but if you remember, though, one of his famous lines was, bitches set me up. Great. You know, and what is my line? Bitches be crazy. I understand that. So where I'm going with it is, I don't know if you guys have been following the news, but apparently being a mayor makes you crazy. Because we got another loser here on the West Coast over here. It's Bob Filner. San Diego. San Diego, baby. What's his thing, though? I know it's something to do with women. Sexual harassment. Can't get enough of women. Just loves them to death. Okay, so, what's, oh, that's wrong. Well, <laughs> what cracks me up is, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where, where's the where's the problem? <laughs> now that he's been, it's caught, a good thing I'm not a public figure. They, they want him to step down, and it's a good thing you know, they're going to recall him, whatever. <laughs> I, I love his statement. I need help. I need help, man. I know. I need help too, man. Too many women, <laughs> too little time. <laughs> he, he needs help. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is, is this? Is either one of these positions a position to where you get a check for X amount of years after the fact? No, I don't think mayors get a check for life, right? I don't know. I think it depends on the city and how long you've served. I don't, I'm not sure, to be honest. But if if it is, do you still get a check even though you have In most circumstances, yes. Yes. So there, you can still get a jail, check while you're in jail? Sure. Like the, the, yes. yeah, most people in Congress, you know, whatever those idiots do, they get a check for life. Wow. Right? They get a check for life? Yeah. But the thing, I mean, it depends how many years you served and that kind of thing. There's a minimum. But um, there's very like days there's very few <laughs> right there, there are very few instances where you can lose your pension yeah wow this this uh, and the reason they don't want to change it is because most of them know that they're they're literally one DUI 
Right. Or, or one gambling debt away from, you know, sleeping with that prostitute or uh, smuggling that crack into Congress. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they, they got to do what they got to do, bro. It's a that's, tough life. That's a bad thing. <laughs> Be that as it may. But Only if you get caught and you're in Congress. So what's funny is San Diego is uh, currently in an uproar. And um, this guy cannot stay away from the women or stay away from harassing women. So they're in an uproar? What does that mean? Are they in the streets like in Egypt or what, what are they doing? So this is America. We don't uproar in the streets, okay? okay so the only people that ever what, uproar what, in the okay, streets. Okay, so what's an uproar uh, Wait, no, no, no. To hold you. on. Let's come back to you. The <laughs> uproar would be the losers that you defended last year who slept in tents and dirtied up my parks and you called them what? That wasn't an uproar. That was Occupy Wall Street. Oh, <laughs> that's that right. Those people. Occupy idiots who did this. nothing. All right. So an Where uproar. are those people? Okay. Huh? And Where are upper those in America is when people are upset. Okay. They have something to say. But they're so upset, they don't do crap. Hey. They stay home. Hey, hey they're going to recall bitch him. bitch and whine about it, but they're they don't gonna do anything. They're going to recall him. They ain't going to recall nothing. Okay, they're demanding his resignation. People are stomping tables as we speak. Yeah. That's how kinda, we do things in America. Kind of kind of like the same guys that have been out at the local post office for the last five years trying to impeach Obama. Yeah, that's how we that's how we do it here. <laughs> Because I swear, yeah, he has, we're not he, crazy. Come he, on now. He hasn't gotten anybody to sign. Every time I go, he's arguing with a new person of why they, he should be impeached. The other guy, why he should stay in office. I've never seen anybody sign his his, his paper. Don't get it started. The phones are going to light up with people wanting to impeach the president. I mean, come on. Yeah, a bunch of nutbags. Mm. <laughs> you know, there's so many places I could have gone with that one. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I just wanted to share. You know that in America, being a dirty, disgusting mayor does not. Make you a bad guy. Well, he's in San Diego, man. You know, there's a lot of good-looking women over there. There is a lot of good-looking okay, women. Okay, I'm just simply saying that. But uh, he's also a moron because he just go across the border and have all sorts of fun, and then just come back. <laughs> oh, yeah. somehow that'll yeah. go over well. Somehow yeah, I can good. I can imagine can that. You imagine him going across the border and the and, and the situation they have now. They'd kidnap him for sure. Yeah, just exploit him over there, not here. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the only thing uh, Mikey's missing then is just the mayor title because everything else he's pretty much on board with. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, the day Mike takes public office, he go down be an FBI his, agent. History city. books. Uh, I'll be doing my acceptance speech and my my <laughs> <laughs> resignation speech at the same time. Guaranteed, there is nothing. They'll come in with an envelope. Mike, so that's for me, right? And there's fifty thousand dollars. I mean, they won't even have to tape him or entrap him. People, why? Thank you. This, this is this is coming to. You. This is going to be the best time. But I got to go. But. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. I can just see Mikey. I'm sorry, you want a contract with my city? You want to pick up trash here? Oh, no, no, no. Because <laughs> I don't see an envelope. I don't That's see right. any hookers or blow. What are we doing here? Uh, oh, what, is that what, camera for me? What, Dude, what Mikey say? will get up on the desk and start stripping to the camera thinking that's what it's about. That he'd be saying, cash, grass, or ass, no one writes for free. That's as it, long baby. as I don't see that dude from uh, To Catch a Predator walk out <laughs> from the door, I'm, I'm okay, bro. I'm okay. If he walks out, that's it. What's his name? Chris. Uh, Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. You know what? You you should know do, that do name you, pretty do, quickly. Do you know who I am, sir? No. I paid on your mail. Why did you think I was a twelve-year-old boy coming to visit you? You said twelve. Uh, <laughs> I read twenty-two. <laughs> yeah. Arvin, do you even know that show? I avoid that show like the plague. Why? What are you afraid of? That they're going to show up at your room? There's there's been a lot of alcohol hey, in, in, in the last five Just years. Just because you live with your mom doesn't make you a predator. First off, first makes off, you a loser. But first not a off, I would move out. But I'm needed in that house. Okay, Wallowitz to do what? Yeah, they, I was gonna say to do what? They need somebody with proper English skills to answer the phone there and say hello. Who's who's they? Uh, Why not? They can say bueno. The, the, other, the other Mexicans. <laughs> hola, in the house. hola. I was gonna say hola, hola. No, no, close no. enough. No, no, no. They they need somebody when the warranty hey, man hey, calls. Brother, everybody she can just answer say, bueno, bueno, payasitos. Hey. Okay, first of all, nobody says that, okay? <laughs> nobody. Nobody. Oh, all, all of our brethren in the IE right now in the crack houses that are laughing their butts off, even they understand. Hey, 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 you know what? You know you know how hard it is to be a player when you live at home with your mom? You got to sneak yeah, her into the house. Yeah, sneaking in through the window must be hard, dude. <laughs> be like, Especially the size women you pick up. Be like, damn it, woman, have some respect. Take your heels off when you come in at 2 in the morning. Wallowitz? Wallowitz. Yes. Okay. You're 42 living with your mother. You know, should be ashamed. You know, you know how hard it is when I tell her, "Hey, just just step over my uncle. Don't don't step on his head." <laughs> She's coming in at two and in the morning. And then all, all I hear is from his from his mom's bedroom. I mean, traes es otro cuero. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like what? <laughs> what? The hell, man? Hey, have you have you ever have you ever had to uh, have that intimate moment with your hand over the woman's mouth because she just you have I to just, shut just her got, up? I just got a text that says Arvin doesn't fix anything at home. Wow. So apparently, you're not needed at home. I got the text um, to prove it. 
it, it's probably from an illegitimate source. In illegitimate source. That's right. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is your word of the day. Illegitimate. Uh, it might work in the IE, And if but you it find it here. in Google, we'll give you a uh, hundred bucks. <laughs> hey, hey, you know how hard it is to just uh, try to lip read? Who's your puppy? In the middle of the night? Well, and, the, when normally, and, and normally, what do you reply? Tu, mi amor, tu. Isn't that... Is, <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> Right, <laughs> because that's what they're asking you. Is that, that's that's how I took that. Oh, oh man, you know what? That's pretty bad, man. <laughs> I, 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 wow. Okay, all I gotta say is it, it's it's it's. I gotta start hitting the gym, man, because you know it's summertime here now. What are we in July? So, <laughs> so by the time you're ready for your speedo, it's gonna be winter, and you'll be like, oh, thank God, I can let well, myself. Well, I you, you, know, you hit the gym every day, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, James well, Burgers. <laughs> See, well, as, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of kind of round in the middle section. So uh, I went to a pool party the other day, and uh, I got some stretch marks where there shouldn't be stretch marks. So I just had to tell the people I got attacked by a cat out in the wild. Hey, Chaz, <laughs> when, because you were a woman at one time, the stretch marks are you probably gave birth without knowing, okay? Well, here's the funny part, that uh, when I took one of those girls uh, back to uh, my house... When she, got, house? W- when she got naked, wait, I wait, said... Wait, wait, wait. So you took a, a, you took a hermaphrodite back to your whoa, mom's whoa, house. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say that. I didn't say That's that. That's what I heard. All, yep. I'm saying, all I'm saying is that when she got naked and her clothes were off, I go, huh, you got attacked by the same lion too, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, we better find this, these wild cats. You see, now, if you have matching stretch marks, you know that's your soulmate right there. I bro. was going to say. You just line up belly to belly. <laughs> <laughs> they line up, bro. Well, that's it, bro. And what's Proposed. funny is, from certain angles, when you look at Arvin, tell me he doesn't look like Chaz Bono. No. Oh, I'm telling you. They could be twins. That, you really could. Alan, Oct- Alan, can we get a picture of Chaz Bono up there next to Arvin, please? He doesn't even know who Chaz Bono is. He's got Google. That's all he's got to know. I think he's Googling himself back in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm just curious, man. I mean, how much longer are you going to live with your mom? Hey, she needs somebody to uh, get the mail every morning. Okay. So your mail comes in the morning. See, see, I I give her purpose because uh, she's got to get up and make breakfast and fold my clothes. All right, that's nice. All right. That's <laughs> You're such a loving, caring son. Man, no you, wonder she keeps you around. You are a catch, <laughs> and on a, so many levels. A catch and a half. Don't forget the half. <laughs> that's All what right. your girlfriend says. Uh, Mikey, what do you got for us, man? All I gotta say is, don't you know how we always talk about parents that lose their mind at kids' sporting events? Oh you wow! Know, where they're whether they're, you know, baseball, this, football, this, whatever. This is funny. Fans lose their damn minds at soccer games in Brazil. Did you guys read about that referee? Re- recently? Yeah. No, because I know like every, at least once a month, there's usually a story coming out of that during the soccer game. Well, over there, enraged spectators invaded the football field, stoned the referee to death. Stoned, stoned the referee during the game? And quartered his body. After the, re- the referee... Stabbed a player to death. I mean, so they take that this crap seriously over there. That's so they went core, medi- They went medieval on this guy, man. They quartered their body, and there's reports that they stuck his his uh, head on a spike. What the hell? It's no joke. So I was saying, I was g- just glancing through, it and they said fans kill and quarter a football referee, and I'm like, quarter? What the hell? What? It must be a typo or you, something. You, you see that? They look, actually you, chopped you, him wait, in wait, four. You see that look on your face? What the hell did they chop him up with? The hell do I know? They're Brazilians, man. Probably <laughs> a machete. I know. But you know what's funny? That same look you said right now. What the hell is quarter? That's what I was seeing when you were pronouncing the word. Wait, I'm what, like, what, what the hell did you say? Well, I, I knew what quarter was, but I'm like, that's medieval. Nobody does that right. anymore. Well, apparently Please they tell do. me there's footage of this somewhere. Oh, that would be awesome. Please tell me there's footage I of don't that know. somewhere. Because it's not on YouTube. I don't believe it anymore. No, Google it, man. It, it was reported know. in July 6th. I don't, I don't know if that would still be and up. I'm re- sure at some point it made it up, but I don't see that stain. And this, this, is a story from, a story from <laughs> <laughs> this was a story from the AP. This was a study from the AP. So it's a legitimate source. <laughs> from la AP. <laughs> Para que no le speak English. Okay, but, but didn't, didn't the AP also run a story <laughs> that in and out was going to have a monkey burger? <laughs> I don't know. All these outlets are pretty stupid, okay? Really? ABC, all these doorknobs ran a story teasing wait, 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 wait. that in and out was going to have a new monkey burger. You know, monkey meat is actually good. <laughs> well, so, I would buy it. May. Look, there you go. There's, there's Arvin. <laughs> there's Arvin. Oh, my God. Oh, that's spectacular. You know so what? For those of you streaming, there's Arvin and Chaz. Three I guys rant on KCA 1050 AM. We'll be right back. I'm going out tonight to look me look for a monkey burger. Now. Would you like to comment? Get on the radio. 
check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant. 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 We supply the words. You paint the picture. AM 1050 KCAA. Hi, I'm Paul Lane, host of the KCAA Morning Show, and I'd like to take a few seconds to tell you about pollen birds. You may not know, but I've been confined to a wheelchair for over 20 years, and I've always looked for ways to increase my energy, mental clarity, and just feel good. Well, I found it in pollen birds. It's natural, delicious, and easy to take, and I think you should try some too. To find out more, email me at paul at kcaaradio.com. That's paul at kcaaradio.com. Hey, join me so we can burst together. Ticketsurgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The Ticketsurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199. We are the Three Guys Rant, coming to you live every Thursday from 5 to 6. And you can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's, the you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen, and you never know what's going to happen. Eight five five sixty nine three guys G U Y S and the number three, not the faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Streaming live from Los Angeles and worldwide, The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant starts now. All right, we're back from the break, and I really wish that... I think what we need to do is start recording our off-air segments, because if you could hear the idiocy that these two shared with me off the air... Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Oh, hold on. There's a a breaking news story. A Um, new study? A new study. <laughs> what is that new study? I swear ju- you, you, ju- you must Justin start drinking Bieber at four thirty. Pete in a bucket. Don't you mean new story? Study. You it's the mismo it? way. You freaking <laughs> illiterate. You see what I'm saying? Wow. And then we're arguing about animal fries. Anybody who's ever had In and Out has had you know animal style. Mike's over here saying, "Well, I thought monkey burger would have monkey meat because doesn't animal style have animals on top?" Right. What are those little brown things? All I got to say is... Right? What brown things? They look like lombrices on top, man. <laughs> lombrices. That, okay. You want to help the non-illiterate people out like there? Like little worms. Little worms. Like they were deep fried or something. Have you You're had- talking about the sauteed onions. That's oh, what that, that is? What they are? You call it like that. Holy... <laughs> All right, so, wait, wait, so wait, 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 Before you two ruin this rest of this segment, let's give a shout out to Black Rain. Is that something like Purple Rain? No, this is oh. Black Rain. He oh. joined our NFL fantasy football fantasy football league, and we want to give a shout out to him. I know he's listening and uh, he's laughing, and I know he's praying for my soul because the two idiots to my right and my left are going to be the death of me, Black Rain. So please, if you can save me, look. There's a picture, by look, the way. If you're streaming, look, look animalitos on top. Those are not animalitos. Those are grilled onions. What, what, how's, how does that, that song I'm going to call uh, BS on that. that Look, that one's moving. That is not moving. Those are grilled onions. That looks like the Gummy Bear song. That's what that you, looks like. I swear to all that is holy in this world, you bring up that Gummy Bear song, I will stab you with my pen wait, wait, right wait, on the wait. neck. I, I have a question. I will, you know, and Alan keeps turning off my things, but where's, the, where's my... I were murdered violently. Are we, Alan, quit turning off his thing, man. His wife is going <laughs> to get pissed at him when Where are my sounds? Home. Can you stop making this thing detachable? Uh, murder you violently. See? So I have a question going back to in and out Where, what part of the world can we get this monkey burger at? You cannot. It was a hoax. Because monkey burger sounds pretty good. Oh, God. Were they killing actual monkeys? <sighs> yeah, I've had barbecue monkey in the PI, and it was yummy. Okay, so for those of you out there who aren't as illiterate as these two, uh, you should join a fantasy football league. It's a lot of fun. It gives you an opportunity Look, to enjoy the sport. It's a monkey burger. Without killing the ref. And uh, I look forward to uh, Team MMG this year. Cowboys rule. Uh, we're going That's, to the Super Bowl. You, really you, can, you can look up to my, my team, Two Phil Hundens. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is your team called? Two Phil Hundens. I don't even know what that. What I that's can't even. English I can't even for. replicate that word. It's it's called. That means devil dog in German. 
Two? That's right. Go, go Google it. Learn a little bit of history of the Marine Corps. Two? Two for Hunden. Two, two for Hunden. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Black Rain, if you're <laughs> listening, call in, please. I can't handle the um, EDC I'm surrounded by, so let's move on. Arvid, what else two, do you have? Two for <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We That's all he's got. Side. Two for hundred. All right. <laughs> oh, anyways, what I have, I want to talk. I want to touch bases or touch, touch bases on. Um, here in California, we became. Si tocar las bases. <laughs> he wants to touch himself. Is the problem? <laughs> I'm still thinking about the two for hundreds. Uh, anyways, we were the 13th state to make gay marriage legal. You realize we covered this two weeks ago, right? right. But the one thing that nobody's taking into account that I actually came across is we have... You, that nobody <laughs> wants to marry you, male or female? Well, that that's to my advantage because you know, it, it's good. But uh, we have the first gay or actually lesbian divorce. If you guys heard about this, the first divorce out of Massachusetts. So okay, that's they had, wait, wait, not wait, we. Wait. Did, did, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, if you could play that back. So here in California, we are the 13th state right. to legalize it. You're with me so far. And we have something nobody else does. How is it we have Did I say that? <laughs> yes. Like 14 times you reiterated. How did you listen to anything I've told you? I'm oh, sorry. We, we were drinking before the show. <sighs> so anyways, yes, it's the first lesbian divorce in Who the hell cares? We knew they were going to get divorced. Really? It's did like you know? anybody else. Well, that's what we've been saying. So what the hell was the point of even making it legal? Because people don't realize how happy you, you how happy you are before you get married. Once you sign that paper and you say, I do, it go, it's all downhill from there, people. Don't well, do it. That's right. Don't do it. <laughs> Por el amor a Dios. <laughs> this from the guy who's done it three times. Por pendejo. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. No lie. Okay. Rete, pendejo. But I learned. I do now. <laughs> I learned it. So let me get this straight. So on the last one, you told her, hell no, I won't marry you, but I'll knock you up to overpopulate the earth instead. Oh, because that's, I was making sweet love. <laughs> <laughs> and for the last four years, <laughs> are you, sure? you and Rosie Palm, baby. <laughs> are you sure it was sweet for her? <laughs> it was good oh. for him, apparently, four years ago. Well, she said it was. One time I woke her up by accident. <laughs> Okay, so where were you going with the story? Well, that's what I'm saying is that all the dudes are going are, are going all to the I'm dudes? Du- all the I dudes are going oh. to I'm done. So it's it's starting to seem like there's there's um there's gonna be, be an explosion of divorces among the gay and lesbian really? community. So this is gonna be an explosion. One cost it, so you know it's what? Gonna explode. You over, really over should the next be a politician. You over the really next need to be years. a politician. You're like that dumbass who one day when you know you were a kid, your mom could sit you on your lap and drive in a car with no seatbelts. All was good. One wait, stupid, wait, wait. one stupid blonde white kid died somewhere in Minnesota. We're supposed to wear seatbelts as kids, and and, and and somebody wants baby seats and all those other crap in cars. Because your dumbass here's one divorce, one divorce. It's an avalanche, Mikey. There's just a plethora of them coming Dude, down like, the pipe. I remember growing up, riding down my big wheel down this hill in Puerto Rico. No helmet. No helmet. No brakes. Going through traffic. My my son gets a big wheel from his Nino over here, and my mom buys him a helmet, um, which is in the trash somewhere. Which is I, lame. It, it, it fell I'm in the s- trash. I'm still going back to this whole seatbelt thing, because I always got thrown in the back of the truck with no seatbelt, no nothing. Right. You can't even ride right. in the back of a truck anymore. Yeah, that's BS. I liked it when you could put 17 people in the back of the truck, everybody standing up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just because you're taking your family to a party. You can't do that anymore, hey, bro. bro. Don't, be jealous. America, man. don't be jealous because we had a car. Okay. All right. Where you came from. You may even you like guagua. Old, no, no. You, you guys had old tires that you made into huaraches. You may even okay. like guagua. We had a vehicle. But I'm back to Arvin's thing. So how is one going to constitute a flood of divorces? Well, they're estimating that we're going to oh, have God. half as many divorces as we do in straight marriages. But the whole thing is, um, is the... Uh, so that's a good thing. Well, they're saying it's going to be more business for the mat- the matrimonial bar. So there's they're starting to see an epidemic gay and divorce. They're not seeing <laughs> an epidemic gay, <laughs> gay divorces <laughs> just yet. Okay. We lost Phil. <laughs> no, I, you I, lost I, the world. What's funny is I got a text that I know she's listening. Cover the Cream Music Band in LB. Oh. Okay. Wow. Whoa, I got a text that sounded like Arvin wrote it. All cover, I heard is covered in cream. What I heard was cover Arvin in cream. No, no, no. Apparently. Since Arvin's talking about avalanches, in the city of Long Beach, over here in California, you know, one of our half and half nice cities, half right. of it uh, you drive through with a, a bulletproof vest, the other half 
you can't afford to live in. Right. Uh, they're going to ban. Which half is that? Which half is what? That you can't afford to live in. Oh, the half closer to the water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they're going to ban ice cream trucks from playing their music. I know. Isn't that stupid? Oh. that How the hell? But that's not news. What? That's old news. I heard that like a week ago. So I guess kids are going to have to be standing in the corner to see no, when the no, damn no. ice cream truck no, no. is coming. But if I'm understanding, it's not that they can't play their oh. music at all. It's that once they stop to serve somebody, they got to turn the music off. Okay. How stupid is that? They should be able to crank it up, dude. So I know that the other fat kid down the street stopped him for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just call yourself a kid? Hey, bro. I said Because I, I have no problem with the fat part, but the kid? Hey, bro. I'm, I'm young at heart. Mind. I'm young at heart. Just because I don't live with my mom doesn't make me old. When your heart goes... That is it, mate. When that ice cream truck is coming from 14 blocks away, it gets me tired to find my dollar. But you know what? I'm going to say that this comes back to some miserable SOB that had an effed up childhood. Dude, but it made it all the way through the city council. I bet council. you he's lactose intolerant. You Whatever. know what? It probably is. Because I don't know about you. I mean, in front of in front of my house, I get them all the time. Okay, in front of your hey, bro, mama's house. You understand that in front of your house, the little cart they oh, push with the bells. Oh, que la Okay, this no. one calls an ice cream truck. And, and they're not called ice cream cone. They're called paleteros. <laughs> First off, okay. first off, stop talking about my uncle and, like that. And they they sell elotes. Dude, but elotes are good. Oh, you that's, know what? That's, 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 that's a hell of an art, entrepreneur yeah. right there that sells nieve and elotes. That's you know what's right. funny is the guys that go by Arvin's house that have the little cart, you got to give them credit because now they carry like other flavors and the Bugs Bunny looking ones. Mm-hmm. But since they do it under dry ice, son of a gun, you can you can nail a, uh, you can can hammer a nail right. with those ice creams when they give it to you. Like a and then what it's like in the IE too. They have some new flavors like crack and meth <laughs> and all sorts. It's all sorts of well, new the flavors. good one, the good one also has those. Uh, what are they called? They're not chicharrones. They look like the funyuns. What do you call oh, those things? Oh, este, mis huevos. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All I'm saying wow. is, how big of a loser and how angry at the world do you have to be to well, start a petition? That's, that's what I'm saying. It's got to be somebody that's miserable. Because let me ask but you wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. He's got to be wealthy, though. Because how do you convince an entire group of morons who are your city council to be as stupid and hateful as you? But I bet me, you the guy owns uh, ice like cream a, shops. Competing or, yeah, probably. But let, that's, that's what I'm saying. How do you come back to it? Because, again, I hear them all the time. I don't necessarily run out there all the time. I'm not saying that I, that I do and I don't. But doesn't it kind of give you that childhood nostalgia that makes you remember of when things were easier and sweeter? And Dude, I'll, t- I'll take it one step further. What drives my wife crazy is not only do they make me happy. Is when you go out you? there, when you go out <laughs> there, the ice cream truck puts a sign that says sold out after you're done? No. That not only do I drive her crazy because I like ice cream trucks, but when the majority of the ones in my neighborhood because Christmas music year round. Oh, that's just what that stupid. cracks. Oh yeah, bro, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, Santa Claus is coming to town. There's like six guys who, who go around our area, and I swear you can hear Christmas. So my nephew was visiting last week. He looks at me he's like Uncle Phil. Is that is that Rudolph? I'm like, yeah, buddy. Let me let me get this straight. They probably have two cassette tapes in their truck, one for the rest of the city, and then one for your street because care. you're such a repeat customer. I don't. I love Christmas music. And to your point, it takes me back. The, the truck is coming. You can smell the fumes when he's there because he's got the generator going. So you go out there and you're like, hee, <laughs> Oh, baby. I mean, I'm telling you what, man. Ice cream trucks. And so, you know, what I don't like is then there's this one guy in our city. He comes through and he does that crappy soft serve where half of it is ice chips. You ever gotten soft serve from one of those trucks? You know what? It no. was probably somebody that thought along those lines and wanted to get rid of trucks altogether. All I know is my kid hears that song and he loses his damn mind. <laughs> Party, party. <laughs> no se vaya. Okay, see, nobody knows what the hell you just said. So no wonder the truck oh, doesn't stop. Okay, I said, party, party. No se vaya. Arvin, <laughs> Alan, anybody? We don't even know what language that is. Okay? Because in America, it, we're like, hey, hey. You know what? I think stop. That, I think, Ice cream man. Where are you going? I, I think that is the exact same sound the monkey makes right before they kill him and turn him into a burger. <laughs> it could be. Wow. Really? When are you going to help your be, kid man. learn English? I know no, you're he, trying to do learn, this whole... He'll learn, learn English. How old is he now? Two, Nine, three? three and a half. He still doesn't know a word of English, does he? No, he, he understands. Yeah, he me. says, mine. Mine. Give me mine. Money. Mine. Mine. <laughs> mine. <laughs> and I guess we're going on break. You listen to a Three Guys Rant on ABC News Radio, 1050 KCAA. The Three Guys Rant. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m. 
right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronAndKellyLive.com. That's AaronAndKellyLive.com. Check it out. Hi, I'm Paul Lane, host of the KCAA Morning Show, and I'd like to take a few seconds to tell you about Pollen Burst. You may not know, but I've been confined to a wheelchair for over 20 years, and I've always looked for ways to increase my energy, mental clarity, and just feel good. Well, I found it in Pollen Burst. It's natural, delicious, and easy to take, and I think you should try some too. To find out more, email me at paul at kcaaradio.com. That's paul at kcaaradio.com. Hey, join me so we can burst together. Thank you, Inland Empire, for listening to KCAA Radio. Streaming live from Los Angeles and worldwide, The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant starts now. All right, since Mike likes to do it, how do you say it? What was your breaking story? Oh, it's a new story. Okay. There's a new study. There's a new study coming out. I just out. want everybody once again, I know I've been talking about it for a few weeks now, please mark your calendars because 12.01 Monday morning is uh, Monday the Well, you 15th? suck. The return of Twinkie the Kid. It is going to be the greatest return in the history of ever. You said 12.01? Well, because they're oh, you said Monday morning. Monday morning. Okay. Uh, 12.01 Monday morning, they're uh, going to be for sale. Twinkies uh, and cupcakes. My, my apologies. I'm just a little thrown off for, for anybody that's just listening. Something happened that I still can't even explain. We just got a you call. You it? Again? That, I thought no. the exact same thing. That's like a daily <laughs> that's, thing. That's, that's, that's a daily okay. thing. We just got a phone call from the bureau chief over at NBC News Radio KCAA. Was it shut the hell up and get off the air? Either. We have gone so far off the reservation that we made the man delirious. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I don't have any other way of explaining it because he just called. And anytime, anytime that, that red phone in the corner rings like the bat line. Okay, can you get to it? We know I, it's trouble. I know. I'm waiting for it. He just called and said they were doing a great job and they were, and they were hilarious. He meant us. Yeah. Because you're an idiot and you can't suck. deliver a line to save your life. Can I go back to my Twinkie story? Yeah, 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 you suck, ahead. Fugly, and your mama doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> So, Twinkies are back on Monday. Cupcakes are back on Monday. The only thing missing after that, thank you, Alan, are you know, but ho hos and zingers. How, how? Well, you can go to West Hollywood and get some ho hos and have her play with your zinger. <laughs> That's just filthy. Now, we're talking about childhood treats here. <laughs> but in Ivory's case, she'll play with his Twinkie. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. And you know what? <laughs> then she'd have her cream <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. We lost him. We lost him wow. again. Wow. It's just, okay. Uh, you know, you're going to call back. He's going to rescind his compliment. <laughs> He's going to say, you know what? He's gonna say, I was wrong. I was wrong. You guys are idiots. <laughs> now, what is your stupid question? Go on. <laughs> oh, how does that affect you when you have a whole stockpile in your backyard? Hey, bro. In your bunker. I, you know, your, your survival I bunker. I was going to take those. Your survival bunkers hey. turn into hey. like hey. a 10-year supply. Hey. When the bitch, That's terribly sexy. That's right. When the bomb was coming, I was going to have the last dash of Twinkies. But now that fresh ones are out, I will share what I have to replenish with the new ones. With what? The entire city? Because there's that many in there? Hey, hey, hey. Don't be jealous. Just because I wouldn't share before, because those were the last of the Twinkies. If the world ever really does come to an end, I hope I'm in that bunker because there's going to be so much cushioning and cream filling in that place and nothing's going to hit me. Yo, yo, yo. It's going to be just you filling there. What are you talking about? I was going to say, you understand <laughs> that if the world comes to an end, you are absolutely not just the last, but 200 after the last person I will ever let in my bunker. Okay. Mm, I'll eat my way through. Uh, no. Uh, I'll get in somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to let you guys know, you'll be the first ones to know. I know uh, Arvin and I, we, we talked about this, and uh, I think it was our Monday show. Your woman's knocked up again? No. Oh. I got a boca chicharrón. I was saying, shit, nine kids. Ooh, slip. Go. Ya se quebró la bicicleta. Ya se jodió la bicicleta. Ya se le quebró el wee wee. I'm opening a uh, franchise, and it's basically, we talked about a, a, an amusement park in Mexico that one of the... Their, um, 
You understand that an amusement park in Mexico <laughs> involves two it's, crates. It's, it's your country. so And a donkey. An amusement park. And one the whole, of the attractions. And a whole lot of Vaseline. No, Phil wasn't here when we talked about this. Their attraction, one of the main attractions is the uh, fake border crossing experience. So you pay 20 bucks a head, <laughs> right? And they To run underground? And it takes three hours for this experience, right? And they have fake border guards and tunnels sure, and coyotes uh, and all that. The Amazing Race. So Mexico they, and edition. they take you through the through the desert so that uh, you can experience what it's like to try to cross the border. Now is that is that an experience or is it a training camp? That's what we talked we talked about. I think it's a training camp. Okay. So I figure I'm gonna do it on this side of the border. So you gotta pay twenty bucks to get trained? Yes. For every three hours? So I'm gonna do it on this side of the border. What are you gonna do over here? We're gonna teach them to do the same thing. That way when they go back and they gotta come back, they know how to do it. You're gonna teach them how to Sweet. open up uh, Puerto Rican restaurants here we, in the we, States? We're gonna teach them how to escape and evade. Okay. What is this we, though? Because you're the Oh, no, because you guys are helping. No, no. First of all, <laughs> I'm not Mexican. You, I'm American. You, you're okay. a coyote. Uh, I, 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 I want no part of, of your... I want no part of your elitist, hurtful, <laughs> degrading camp. We, we can make some so money. We Latin open country? this up and for white people to see what your people go through. <laughs> Alan, can you play First that, all, that, that my people, again? Dude, my we people... Will, we will be rich. Do you not do you hear an Why, accent? I'm just curious. Why would anybody have any interest this side of the border to do that? That's what I'm saying. Dude, dude, white people will do anything. Brother, I'm telling you. Yeah, the ones that are on Jersey Shore people. Okay. okay. He's so assuming what? that everyone has an accent like him. Linguistically correct is all you hear out of this lovely mouth. And he's trying to put me in the same category as himself. I don't, don't even like I don't even like do my own grass. I have another Mexican to do so my which grass. Which the Latin countries? I didn't say are we're going to start a gardening wall, business, moron. I say we're going to start a training camp. <laughs> Alan, Alan, play that one more time. Let's hear it. So, which of the Latin countries are you from? <laughs> the one with the civil war, the one with the cocaine, or the one with the fancy hats? Uh, all of the above. Uh, yeah, none of the above. Uh, you should have asked it. You know, which one are you? Is the world country. So, anyways, we, we're going to. I'm, I'm working. It's coming. So when I launch, we're going to we're going to announce it on air. Well, okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, time. gentlemen, we, we just got Alan either flip me the bird or was trying to cue me. There's only two minutes left, so cut to the chase. Whatever you're going to spew, spew it quickly. That's usually what Mikey does. <laughs> <laughs> spew and spew quickly. <laughs> All right. Hey, movies. We didn't cover it real quick. I just want everybody to know. Go see Despicable Me 2. That's what I heard. It was outstanding. Uh, the wife and I saw The Heat last night. What um, was that about? With Sandra what Bullock. What did you think of that? that? Oh, that I think that's going to be funny. Yeah. It was reasonably funny. I mean, you know, it's a good date movie or if you want to take your wife. So, you know, um, I think it was okay. I like M- Melissa McCarthy. She, you know what? She's pretty good. She's good. She's pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. So She's um, a whole lot of woman. Yeah. She yeah. is. <laughs> and uh, Arvin, your take? I'm sorry. I just, vis- I just had a visual <laughs> image of her running at me full speed. <laughs> what? How, how, how do you function? Uh, uh, what wait, is were, you, co- were you hoping you could at some point see her stretch marks? I was <laughs> See if they I, line up. I was hoping to go belly to belly with that one. That's all that's gonna happen, belly to belly. <laughs> Gotta say. All it right. Look like Any uh, big plans this weekend before we go away? <sighs> I have big plans to do absolutely nothing this weekend. Isn't that most of your life? I have big plans to do absolutely nothing tomorrow. Okay. Mikey? For this weekend? Yeah. I don't plan that far ahead, you know me. <laughs> you understand that this weekend's only twenty four hours away. Technically that's this great. weekend started uh fifty eight <sighs> minutes ago. Wow. I know it's this weekend in China where uh, John, uh, John Kudis is, our friend, a friend of the show. John Kudis. John! Take me with you. Harvin well, wants to be your skateboard, by the you, way. You, <laughs> want, you want to have fun on the plane, too? Sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, if that's my new saying. What the hell does what? that even mean? Have I fun have no on the idea. plane. Hey, John takes you with him. Every time you guys walk into a restaurant, they're going to be saying, no, we close, we close. <laughs> 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 so you're both going to starve over there. Dude, if that wasn't <laughs> racist, I don't know what was. What? What, what do you mean? What, who, who are you imitating? <laughs> the guy from the Chinese restaurant at the corner every time we walk in. First no, off, no, no. We close. We close. First off, if we're in China, it's no longer Chinese food. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. That's been another edition, and I'm sorry for it, of the Three Guys Rant on KCA 1050. Black Rain, have a great weekend. We'll be back next week, hopefully. And what? That's how you do a show. Oh, that's that's never going to end. Never going to end. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At 
no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.